Hello everyone, my name is James Hobbs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Visual Boy Advance emulator for your PC. What the Visual Boy Advance allows you to do is play Game Boy Advance games in kind of HD on your computer. Uh, it's not full HD, but it definitely looks better than what we used to play it on. So today I'm going to be going over how to actually get the software and how to get the games for it, optimizing the graphics and the sound, and also how to set up the controllers. Alright, let's get started. Alright, for getting the emulator and the games, I'm going to recommend CoolROM.com. I have been using them for a very long time. All of their files are always virus-free, so they are definitely worth being trusted. Now, I will leave a link down below to the actual emulator, but all you will do is just enter in this address, and then you will go down, and there is an alternate download link below. Now, I'll go ahead and cut it here, because it has to play a small ad real quick. And once that is done, uh, we will have a download your file button here. So all you do is click on that, and then you save this to wherever. For right now, I'm recommending just saving it down to the desktop. Uh, that's where I've got mine saved at. And since I have it saved, I have no reason to re-download it. Now, Cool ROM is also the same place that we'll be getting our games from. So if you go underneath ROM files, and you select Game Boy Advance, it has all of the available ROMs that they have on this website. Now keep in mind, in order to download a game, you have to own a physical copy of the game. That gives you the rights to own that game digitally as well. So I'm going to pick a game that I still own, which I still have a copy of Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku 2. So again, same thing, just alternate download link, let your advertisement play, and wait 15 seconds. And then same thing, just download your file and then save it to the desktop. That is all you have to do. And that is all we need. We have the emulator and we have a game. I will move on to the next step. All right, and the next step is getting everything set up. Um, I would recommend go ahead and make a Game Boy emulator folder. You don't have to. This just makes it easier. But you will open up your uh, WinRAR file and you will drag your Visual Boy application over to your Game Boy emulator folder and you'll do the same thing with your game too. You will take the GBA file and you will drag it over as well. Now we can go into our emulator folder and run the application of Visual Boy Advance and a new file will be created here. Uh, this is just configuration files. You really don't have to worry about it. Now as far as actually getting this set up to the best settings we will just have to change a few simple things. Uh, very first thing is on frame skip. Uh, as far as throttling, you do not want to mess with any of that. Just select automatic. Next down, we're going to have video. Make sure you have VSync enabled. And also, uh, this is kind of up to you. Um, what this does is it just kind of scales the picture quality image to whatever you have it on. Um, it'll make it bigger or it'll make it appear smaller. I usually like to leave mine on around two or three. And that's just, again, one of my personal preferences. Uh, you can change that to whatever you want. All right, the next setting is going to be any sound. Uh, right now I do have my sound off because whenever I turn this on to boot up the game, it will be very loud and I'm recording right now. So I don't want you guys to be blinded, to be blinded. I don't want you guys to be deafened by the sound of this, but uh, just on the sound, make sure that uh, 22 is checked down here. Uh, 11 sounds really soft, 44 sounds extremely too high, so I generally just leave mine on 22. Now you can adjust the volume manually in here as well. And the next one, and probably the most important one, is going underneath filter and changing it to HQ2X. This will give it that HD look, and you will be pretty much good to go after that. Uh, one thing you can do is you can change the Game Boy one on here to GBA. Again, it doesn't make that big of a difference, but I think it makes a small visual adjustment that I just prefer. And that is setting up the software. Uh, next will be the controller setup. All right, to set up the controller, we will go back underneath Options, select Joypad, Configure, and then choose number one. Now, one thing that's really cool about this, you can actually use a like a 360 controller or a uh, just any plug-in controller if you want, or you could set it up to your mouse and keyboard. Well, not really your mouse, just your keyboard. But I'm going to set it up using a 360 controller, and I would recommend using the D-pad for your movements because that is how we controlled it. Uh, if you use the joystick, it's just 
it feels wrong to me, but again, that's my personal preferences. So, underneath joypad configurations, I will press up for my joystick, down, left, right, A, B, L, R, start. Now, with speed, what that does is, uh, if your emulation is running a little bit slow, or if you want it to go a little bit faster, then you can speed it up. Um, I'm just going to set mine to the Y button up at the top, because I don't plan on using it. And then capture, uh, you can take screenshots. Again, you're probably not going to use it very much. So I'm just going to put put that on my back left trigger. And GS is just game save. Uh, you can save within the Visual Boy Advance. Uh, but you can also access the in-game saves, so that's generally just what I do. So I won't use that very often at all. So I'll just set it back to another, another trigger along the back. And that is pretty much the whole setup. All right, and the last thing is just going to be to open up the game. So what you will do is go underneath File, Open. And if you saved it within the same folder that you had the application, it will automatically detect that you have your Game Boy files in there. So I saved my Legacy of Goku 2 in the same folder. And there you go. As you can see, the game booted up just fine. And that is all of these steps in order to get games running on your Visual Boy Advance. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, just throw them down in the section below. Uh, I'll try to get to everything as fast as I can. Uh, keep in mind, I am not an expert at this, but I will try my best to help you out with this. Alright guys, uh, this has been James Howes with the Game Yanks. Have a good one.